Today, we're going to look at the Parblo A610 Plus graphics tablet. I'll also be taking you behind the scenes of the next top story and how you can get really smooth animations on Adobe After Effects. All of this and more coming right up! Hi, my name is Lex and welcome to Lex in Motion. In this channel, I'll be helping you build your competence, confidence, and capability in law school. Start today by hitting the subscribe button below. New episodes are posted every Friday. Today's video is a departure from our usual content. Today, I'll be showing you the Parblo A610 Plus graphics tablet. It's the tool I used to animate the YouTube Next Up story. Please note that this is not a sponsored video. Parblo did not pay me to say the things I'll be sharing. However, if you purchase their products through the links below, I will be getting a small commission. Alright, now on to the A610 Plus. Like most Parblo products, the A610 Plus comes in a really nice box. Their illustrations are quirky and this one looks very fun. As you can see on the box, the A610 Plus is not a computer. It's a graphics tablet. What you draw on the tablet is translated into your computer. I've been using drawing tablets for a few years now and they're very very useful for reading our cases in law school. I use them to make notes to highlight cases and doodle and scribble. Once you get used to drawing tablets, there's a very good chance that you won't ever touch a mouse again. Inside the box, we find the Parblo A610+. Plus. It did come wrapped in a white plastic with a screen protector, which I've removed off cam. The active area is 10 inches by 6 inches and it lights up when it's in use. The tablet supports up to 5,000 lines per inch of resolution and has a response time of 266 RPS. It has 10 customizable buttons and a gray cloth back. It has solid rubber feet that will ensure that it stays planted firmly on your desk. The pen has a very nice heft to it. It's not heavy, but it's also not too light that it feels cheap. The pen has no battery, so you never have to worry about charging it. It supports over 8,000 levels of pressure, and the difference between 2,000 to 8,000 is just night and day. The Parblo A610 Plus also comes with a pen stand, and you can use it to keep your pen from rolling off your desk. The stand has a nice weight to it, and it won't slide around your desk too. My personal preference is just keeping it standing up. Inside the stand, you'll find 8 free nibs. The way to change it is to flip the stand over, insert the pen inside the remover, and pull it gently away. Replacing the nib is easy. Just slip a new nib in and push until you hear a small click. In about a month's heavy use, animating the next up story, the nib has not seen much wear and tear. The free nibs should last the lifetime of the drawing tablet. The box also contains a USB Type-C cable with two straps to make storage easier. It also comes with an artist's glove or smudge guard. The glove is very stretchy and for reference, I wear XL goalkeeper gloves for Nike and Puma and this one fits me just fine. The box also contains the instruction manual, warranty card, and the microfiber cleaning cloth. Out of the box, the Parblo A610 Plus did not work for me. I contacted their support and they responded in a matter of hours. If you are running Mac OS Mojave or newer, here's what you need to do to install the driver. First, go to the Parblo website and download the appropriate drivers. For me, that's the driver for Mac OS Mojave. Just connect your device, install the driver. You will be asked for your password. Wait for it to finish and then you can restart your system. Once your system has rebooted, open System Preferences. Click the lock to make changes and then you'll be asked for your password again. Go to Privacy and then Accessibility. Tick the box next to Pen Tablet Setting and then click the lock icon. From there, you can access their app. The first change I always make is to flip the device because I am left-handed. Then you can adjust the pen pressure to your desired settings. And then you can plot out the shortcut keys. Just note that once you flip the device for left-handed use, the buttons will be flipped too. My most common buttons are undo, the option key, the control key, the shift key, and the command key. Finally, I also add copy and paste buttons, but these will work also. 
outside of Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. The Parblo A610 Plus offers good value for money. For about $35, you cannot go wrong with this device. It's very accurate and the tablet surface is very very similar to paper. It's not like you're drawing on smooth plastic. It feels very much like paper and it's nice to see how far the technology has come in the last 4 years. There was also a time when pen tablet devices were as good as useless once you've dropped the pen. For me, I've dropped the Parblo A610 Plus pen twice by accident and it's still working fine. I've also accidentally spilled water and coffee on it and it still works just as it did from day one. I also like how the buttons are nice and clicky, how the active area lights up when it's in use and the awesome pen stand. One thing I did not like about the Parblo A610 Plus is that the cable feels a little too short. But this is probably because I use a desktop and I need really long cables. If you're using this with a laptop, this should not be much of an issue. Also, the driver didn't work out of the box but their support is amazing and they fixed my issue in a few hours. Overall, I'm very happy with the device. You'll be seeing more of this device when I do live streams on how to digest cases, how to make notes for law school, and how to answer bar exam questions. If you're interested in getting the Parblo A610+, Plus, you can use the promo code LEX and you'll get 10% off. If you buy anything through my affiliate link below, I'll receive a small commission too. Now on to our tutorial on how to get really smooth animation in After Effects. Start by importing your Adobe Illustrator file. It's always a good idea to have all of your layers with the correct name because this will really save a lot of time when you're animating. The way Adobe After Effects works is through a system of keyframes. Basically, you move forward in time, click on the stopwatch icon, and then this will set a keyframe as the object's final position. Then go back in time, hold the shift button, drag the layer out of frame. Once you're happy with the position, click on the diamond in the corner and what this will do is set another keyframe. From there, After Effects does the math and plots out the action. Let's see how all of these layers will move. As you can see, it's not very smooth. It looks a lot like PowerPoint and we do not want that. Three things will improve this animation. The first one is motion blur. By default, motion blur is hidden. What you can do is to right click on this section, choose columns, and then select motion blur. And then turn on motion blur. What this does is to blur any moving objects. The faster the movement, the greater the blur. Let's check out the blur here. Again, the movement is still very static. It still feels a lot like PowerPoint but it's a little fancier. The next steps will fix that. Second thing you can do is to go to your keyframe. Select your keyframes and then right click. Choose keyframe assistant and then ease in. What this does is to make the animation a lot smoother. Let's see the results. Significant improvement but not good enough. Next, we will edit the speed graph. Click on the speed graph editor and then click on the yellow Bezier handles and then drag this one as far as you can to the left. What this does is that it makes the initial action super fast and then it slows down. Let's look at the results. Significantly better, kapatid. And this is when animation becomes boring. Take the same actions and then repeat them across all layers. I'm going to speed this up now and I wish I could work like this in real time. Now let's look at the final results.
There you have it, kapatid! Three easy steps to make your animation look super smooth. Thank you so much for watching. Like and share this video for Good Law School Karma and I will see you next Friday.